Hello everybody, SuperMemFL here. Welcome back to more Mario Party 5 board playthroughs. Last time, uh, we played some few rounds of minigame tournament. Couldn't win. That's fine. I got second and fourth. That wasn't such terrible. But it's just a game. It's not really worth it's not really worth rewarding when you win. It's just for fun. Okay, anyways, after we did all the uh, the other minigames we've done, now we're gonna be doing some minigames we have not shown yet. If I remember correctly, there are just some dual minigames and one DK game we have not played yet. We did all the Bowser games. We did all the rest. So now we're going to be showing off the dual minigames we have not played yet. Let's see. Um, we did this. We... I think we did this, too. Uh, what Maze? I don't think we did this. Oh, uh, face Luigi. I'm going to go across between facing Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. Yeah, this could be pretty luck-based, considering, because you don't know where the Womps are. Uh, the Womps could appear randomly. This could actually be pretty luck-based, but not completely luck-based. Wow, Luigi just pushed me to that Womp. Hey, I won! Luigi, what the hell are you doing? I was going the right way. Well, either direction was uh, was good. Like, if you go either way, you're still gonna find the right path. Okay, we definitely did that. Uh, definitely did this. I think I did this since uh, when I beat Peach in Sweet Dream. Uh, I definitely did this in Toy Dream. Pump and jump. Yeah, I did that. Uh, blown away. I don't think I played this yet though. This might not be a too long of a video, though. I'm not going to do Frightmare, because that'll be the last thing I'm going to be doing uh, when I do Story Mode. Start. Like, you do all five words, and then you have to file Battle. Aw, oh, damn it. This is my best dueling game. I'm not losing it here. Wow, okay. Wow. I could not shoot him. There you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Still have not gone Warrior World yet. I really want to get that game. Maybe the next time I get an Amazon card, I'll probably order it. What just sucks? This gamers is closing. Like, ugh. I really feel bad. Okay, um... I'm actually going to do this game again, because... Uh, I don't think I've done Wind Waivers, and I don't think we did this. I'm going to say Peace Out for Last, because I'm going to do a 5-minute game round. And I'm going to do a cross of a 1 vs. 3 and Mario Max of all three versions of Mario Max. Just for fun, because I want to show it off. What really cool, uh, the co really cool designs of Mario Max. Uh, I think the goal for this is look out for, uh, the way you see, uh, the, where the, uh, the blocks are showing on the screen, and also, uh, where the computers are going, because if you stay next, if you follow your opponent and they find a block, you could steal it from them, which is, I think it's a good strategy. Those are some good two methods of how to win this game easily, because I definitely won that game. Not by much, though, but I definitely won. Just the strategy of how to win that game, if you guys have a hard time winning that game. Uh, win waivers, okay. Okay, I'm gonna suck horribly, but let's see if I can win. Yeah, <laughs> I had no chance. I was doing pretty good. But then I uh, kind of slipped behind. Oh, I didn't face Waluigi. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to face him in peace out. A very good record. Yeah. 
by that many points for five minutes. You can play this game for at least a minute, three minutes, or five minutes. I'm going to be doing this for five minutes. The best strategy for this game, go for the, uh, the same caller every time. To get the most caller, the more callers you have in that, uh, that display, I'm not... In your, in your entire board, uh, you could get a lot of points, which is really, really good. That's how I got the record. I don't know how he got it first. So I'm gonna get a lot of points here. So I'm definitely ahead of him. Get a lot of blues. Oh, damn it, all of Yeah, I'm slightly ahead of them because I've been getting a lot of good blocks. Or uh, good, really, the most colors in the one board. Oh, crap. Crap. Thankfully, you can toss them away if you grab the right, the wrong, the wrong uh, uh, color or the wrong block. What is wrong with my pronunciation? Try to get that. Nope, I grabbed the wrong block. Come on, grab it! I'm gonna try to take it from him. Aw, oh, he got it. Oh, I should. Uh, well, at least I got that. Wow, I am losing. I am definitely not going to win this. Like, the AI is just too good. I had a good start. It's just I got really screwed. Like, I didn't get there fast enough. Ah, uh, 
Damn. Yeah. Oh well. It's just a game. Now uh, we have one more DK game. Uh, we have not played... We played this. We... Uh, wait. I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, I definitely played Mass Appeal. I don't think we did Banana Punch. This is the game I'd never played yet. Uh, for the first seven Mario Party boards. Ooh, DK, so, yeah. It's kind of cool that there are different versions of the uh, designs of the barrels. Wow, I got the most. Holy cow. That was pretty good. I must have gotten lucky found some banana, bun banana bunches, but that was, that was honestly pretty good. So yeah, that was Banana banana Punch. Uh, that was definitely the game I never played yet. So I guess that does it. Uh, this is uh, Frightmare, by the way. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, we're going to do a cross between Partridge Ruins, Dark City, and uh, Star Hole? I think that's what's the other one. I think it's called Star Hole. I'm just doing this for fun, just to- Oh, I'm pressing the R button or something. I can just beam right, in the, right there and, like, shoot him. That was the Partridge Ruins. That was actually not the. That was, that was pretty cool. Now we're gonna do the second version of Mario Max. I'm gonna make the team this time. Uh, Darts. Uh, par no, Parched Ruins. My bad. Forget my. Uh, forgive me. Forgive my pronunciation. This one's really cool because we're. Uh, this one's really dark. Oh, that was the one for a second. Oh man, he's trying to get me. Oh man, he's trying to get me. Although he tries to get. Oh, now I can't go. Oh, wow, Wario has good health. I'm almost out, though. Wow, we got him. I think Wario did a good job. Like, he had so much health! Where did he have so much health? Like, he did not shoot him at all. Like, seriously. Alright, I'm gonna be the one this time. Not revolving fire! No, go back. I did not mean to select revolving fire. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, Dark City. Uh, this one's Star Hole, I was right. I was right about this one. I'm just doing all these three versions of Mario Max just to chase to show you guys what what uh, how cool the designs are. This one looks pretty cool. Yeah, the one that has definitely a big advantage. But he can get pretty damaged a lot because you take a while to uh, charge up your beam. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you can get damaged easily by the team. 
still, the one has a massive advantage. In my opinion. So yeah, that's all the minigames I got to show you guys, because we definitely show off the last two of the... Uh, we got this game, and we got this game. The, these were the last two I didn't show. And then for 2 vs. 2s, uh, we got this game being the last one in the minigame battle, which is pretty lucky. Then we got some of these dual minigames from the minigame tournament. So yeah, this was pretty good. Uh, that does it for a minigame. Uh, I guess the one thing I'll show off is option mode. So I got a little bit of time to spare. Before story mode begins, I'm going to show off uh, option mode. Just to show you what it is. It's not really worth anything. It's not mo worth showing. Just showing off all the all this stuff. All four things. One of four things. Uh, you can look at the... Uh, see all the five minigame packs. We have the all pack that contains all the minigames. EC pack that contains only games that are easy. Action pack that only contains that are action pack minigames. Skill pack that are, that are skill minigames that are skilled. And then there's goofy pack that, that are goofy minigames. <laughs> and there's the rumble feature. You have a chance to uh, you have an option to turn it on or off if you want to. I actually want to say it on. And this is the music. Uh, you can actually stereo. Uh, no, yeah. Listen to mu vo music and voices in the game, or you can turn the stereo, stereo be switch between stereo, mono, or surround settings. It's still one of my favorite uh, musics, uh, minigame music. So. This one. This was one of my favorite minigame tracks. And then, uh, the last thing you show off is your records. Uh, you have four types of records. You got minigame records. Leaf Leap, I have 165. Uh, distance at Digger Derby, I have 30 points. Hydro Stars, I have 35.51 seconds. Layer Skater, I have 25.56 seconds. Wellflower, uh, 7.66 seconds. Triple Jump, uh, 138. 1.5 meters. Handy Hoppers, uh, 57 points. Then Panic Pinball, 18,950 points. Up and Jump, uh, 635 meters. Uh, yeah, and then Peace Out in between, fr across from one minute, it was, it's 30,459. For three minutes, I got 77,156. And then for five minutes, I got 128,584, which is pretty cool. And then we have the board map records. Look at the party mode records or the story mode records. We got the party mode records. I've been playing Mario a lot. Never played as Luigi, Peach, Wario, Daisy, Waluigi, Koop Kid, and Boo. And I played as Toad ten times. Uh, this this is Toy Dream. And then for Rainbow Dream, I played as Mario five times, Luigi twice. Yoshi five times, Wario ten times, or uh, no, one time. Why did I say ten? Uh, Daisy twice, and Koop Kid once. I never played as Peach once, Waluigi once, and Toad once, and Boo once. And for Pirate Dream, I played 18 times, Mario four times, Luigi seven times. Never played with Peach, Yoshi, uh, Toad, Daisy, and Boo. But I played with Wario once, Koopa Kid four times, and Waluigi twice. Uh, Undersea Dream, I played 14 times. I played with... Never played with Mario once in this one. Uh, played with everybody uh, one time. 
uh, Yoshi, Wario, Boo, and Trippy Kid twice. Luigi, Peach, uh, Toad, Waluigi, and Daisy once. Uh, never played with Mario once, apparently. That's kind of weird. Uh, Future Dream, uh, 15 times played. Mario once, Luigi twice, Peach none, Pe uh, Yoshi twice, Wario five times, Daisy none, Waluigi twice, uh, Toad none, Boo twice, Koopa Kid twice. And then for Sweet Dream, Mario six times, Luigi none, Peach none, uh, Yoshi five times, Wario once, Daisy none, Waluigi six times, Toad none, uh, twice, Boo and Koopa Kid none. Bowser Nightmare Mario 14 times, the only character I played as in that board. And everyone else just never played as them in that board. Apparently. An overall board, I played with Mario 44 times. The character I played with the most. Uh, Yoshi being the second uh, with 16. Toad being the third, uh, third place being used uh, 13 times. Then Luigi with 12. Uh, Waluigi, uh, fourth, uh, fifth place, got uh, the fifth character I used the most 11 times. Uh, Wario, the sixth character I used 10 times. Then by Koopa Kid, I used him 9 times. Then I used Boo four times overall. The, Eighth character the most, then by Daisy only three times. Only used Peach once overall. Overall, I used Peach once in this entire game. I only used her once. That's crazy. So yeah, that's the friggin' party mode records. Uh, this is the story mode records. I have gotten. S ranks on every single character. It is so hard to get these S ranks. You have to do so well. In t uh, I'll explain when I do solo uh, story mode. It is just super hard. But I played 38 times overall. I played with Mario 17 times, Luigi 6 times, Peach 3 times, Yoshi 3 times, Wario 3 times, Daisy twice. Wall Waluigi four times. Uh, you cannot play as the other three characters because in story mode because uh, there is something that will happen when you play story mode, but Boo and Koopa Kid will not. Uh, Toad, Boo, and Koopa Kid will not uh, place uh, be playable characters in story mode. Kind of makes sense because they're new characters. You can only play with them in Super Duel mode, Minigame mode, Party mode, and Bonus mode. Yeah, I've got an S rank with every character, and there are five stars. Mm -hmm. If you got like every S rank but one, it's gonna be uh, like four stars, and I think three stars, like every S rank but a few, there's gonna be three. So yeah, that's the so that's the story mode records, and uh, that's and here's the minigame decathlon records. I use Mario in every single one of these. Uh, this is my record uh, that I set that I played, and that is that was the one minigame I screwed up in uh, triple jump, and I didn't get any points in uh, uh, Nightlight Fright for some reason. Uh, I just sucked at that game. But my best record is here. I got a thousand points in a uh, flower shower. That yeah, that did pretty okay with uh, Leaf Leaf. Uh, I did pretty good in Nightlight Bright. And Hydro Stars, Dinger Derby. Couldn't get a perfect in uh, Dinger Derby in that one. I did really good in uh, Triple Jump. And then Will Flower got 853. Yeah, that was a decent score. As for this, yeah, I didn't get any a thousand points on this record, but it was pretty good. I did get a thousand on uh, Dinger Derby on this one. As for this, 
Uh, no 1,000, no perfect. Uh, this one, now no perfect. Uh, this one, now no perfect. I don't think any of these are perfect. Yeah. These are the only two placements that are perfect. Uh, one of them are perfect. Okay. Well, except this one. That this one had a perfect. And this is the uh, super dual records. Uh, A1. Uh, a number of times played once. Uh, this is just a record of results of the versus for super dual mode uh, versus battle. Uh, that's weird. Hmm. Mm. This is a very weird record. I don't remember this being here. Yeah, apparently that's the record. And that's basically option mode. So this has been uh, Super MMFO. I'll see you guys next time when we show off uh, story mode. See you guys then.